Emerson Creek Pottery was founded in 1977. Originally, the business was an 1825 log cabin, which has since been restored to its original log walls, fireplace, and double barrel chimneys. The pottery has since grown and is a huge success, gaining rave news reviews, along with an online retail store and an on-site outlet store. The clay first arrives to the pottery in what looks like large bags of concrete and is then mixed on site to either form slip clay or stiff clay. The slip clay goes on to cast forming and the stiff clay is used on the ram press machine. In the casting room, there are several pottery molds in rows. All of the molds are made from a single master mold and will have to be remade at some point. Most of the molds are two or three part molds and are made of plaster. The nature of plaster is to soak up the moisture in the wet slip clay. When a sufficient amount of moisture is pulled from the clay, the inside wet clay is then dumped out into waiting bins. This leaves a moist clay lining of the correct thickness inside of the mold. This is then allowed to sit up for one hour. And then the molds are turned over and the process of sparing starts which removes excess clay from the mouth of the mold. The mold is then opened and the pot is released to dry. Casting leaves a seam on the outside of the pottery that must be removed. This is called cast finishing. The seam is removed with a knife and quickly sponged off. Cast finishing must be done quickly and each piece may have a variety of finishing needs. The second method of forming clay into pottery is the ram press. Before pieces can go to the ram press, they must be fed to the pug mill to ensure that there are no air bubbles. Two halves of a mold are bolted to the upper and lower part of the open press, and the clay is placed on top of the lower half. The upper part of the mold then squashes the halves together to form the shape of the mold. These mold shapes must all be open forms like plates, bowls, and flower pots in order to be used on the ram press. Recently formed and finished pieces are then taken to the drying room where they are either air dried or fast dried by fans and a gas heater overnight. After a piece is completely dry, it must be glazed. Glaze is an all-over, glass-like substance that gives a piece its shine, and it can either be dipped or sprayed onto the pottery. Once the glaze is on the pottery, the bottom of the piece has the glaze removed on a footer machine. All of the materials are made on-site at the pottery and are lead-free and completely non-toxic. My name is Melinda Schistler. I've been here four years. Uh, a decorator. We paint on pieces that have already been glazed, and the paint is actually glazed also. And we also use these special brushes that are called Sumi Brush. They're Japanese. They use a lot of them for color and ink over there for making their symbols that they do a lot of. But um. Most of the stuff that we paint is stroke painting. So once you make the stroke, that's it. You can't erase it or anything like that. So you're set. It's set still basically. So if you make any mistakes, you either throw it away or just let it go. It's pretty fun. I do a lot. Probably 100 to 110 pieces a day. It can get monotonous. So usually I'll switch patterns throughout the day, you know, just to keep it interesting. You are now watching Emerson Creek Pottery's master decorator paint the company's signature design called the Field of Iris. It is a beautifully painted piece that can not only be pleasing to the eye, but used in everyday dining. The Field of Iris design also comes in many other useful pottery pieces, such as lamps and bowls. The delightful blue and purple hues give any iris lover 
their favorite flower all year long and can match and accent many decorating schemes throughout your house. The paint is also completely safe by being non-toxic and lead free as well as dishwasher friendly with the added bonus of knowing that your piece is 100% American made. Another popular line is Emerson Creek Pottery's Cranberry line. You can watch as the master decorator skillfully paints the beautiful green leaves and crimson berries onto a pasta bowl. This particular line pays tribute to the beautiful fruit that puts the finishing touches on any American holiday meal and is often remembered as being seen behind soft mist in New England's cranberry bogs. For some of Emerson Creek Pottery's customers, they keep a set of cranberry dishes and decorative pieces in their home for holiday use, while others love seeing the beauty of cranberry year-round and have permanent sets of cranberry. With bakeware, dining sets, lamps, and much more to choose from, you can add the warmth of cranberry to your home wherever and whenever you want. Just as the cranberry is an American tradition, so is Emerson Creek Pottery. Now you are watching as the master decorator embellishes the natural cream background of this vase with the simply elegant Tuscan olive pattern. This pattern has serene and appealing olives that will delight any customer of Emerson Creek Pottery. The sumi brush is wielded with skill to craft each part of the Tuscan olive pattern and the beauty of the brush strokes only adds to this piece's wonder. The Tuscan olive pattern is the perfect accent piece for any home and goes exceedingly well with any Mediterranean style of decoration and adds tasteful design to any space with its classically appealing look. After the pieces are decorated, they are taken on carts to the kiln. The kiln is a huge industrial oven that bakes the clay. The kiln is fired to just over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit in a 12-hour firing and cooling process. When the door opens, it is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The newly finished pottery is either taken to the outlet store or listed on the website. The online store only lists perfect pieces of pottery, whereas the outlet store has second quality pieces that have minor blemishes that do not jeopardize the use of the product and are discounted 30% or more. Once orders are placed, they are packed up and shipped directly to you. All products are 100% American made in Bedford County and completely reliable.